What's up YouTube and welcome to another spicy Mr. Negative deck. This time the core combo here is Jane Foster. And what we're trying to do is play Mr. Negative on 4 to revert all of these cards that have zero power originally, so they turn into zero cost cards. On turn 5, we ideally have Jane Foster draw 3 or 4 of them for us, and that allows us to go for an absolutely bananas turn 6 play that is completely unexpected by our opponent, and that is also pretty certain to make us win the game. So the biggest payoffs for this investment are Iron Man, if he gets his cost reverted, we can then copy his effect with with Mystique. We also have Arnim Zola, which is incredibly powerful at zero cost and can spread out power across other locations very, very nicely. As an additional win condition, we're also playing Silver Surfer. He's also very good if we do whiff on Mr. Negative or if we draw Silver Surfer early. He can still be a very powerful turn six play, especially if the on reveal effect gets doubled by Wong. Ironheart is kind of in the same spot as Silver Surfer, but most of the time a little bit less impactful. To round out the deck, we have Psylocke to be able to play Mr. Negative on turn 3 already, just giving us more cost-reverted cards. I personally do like Thor in this deck uh, for a similar reason as we play this whole 3-cost package. We have an alternative game plan in case we don't find Mr. Negative, and we have the additional Jane Foster synergy in here as well. The last card not mentioned yet, Black Panther is of course an absolute menace in combination with Wong as well as Arnim Zola. So while playing this deck, ideally you want to try to keep one location empty so you can either go Black Panther into Arnim Zola, which spawns two 16 power Black Panthers, or you go Wong into Black Panther into Arnim Zola in one location. Which means you get two 32 or 64 power Black Panthers and two Wongs into the other locations, depending a bit on how exactly it resolves but keep in mind you do need board space for those situations. And what has surprised me myself is that this deck can win a fair amount of games even without Mr. Negative. It's not going to be super strong, but it does have some serious steam if you draw a couple of nice cards. Like let's say some three cost cards on turn three and four, then you go Iron Man on turn five, and then you can go Mystique into Silver Surfer on turn six. Mystique copying the Iron Man effect, and with double Iron Man we will fairly often still win two locations, although it's not super consistent, so be wary of how much pressure your opponent can put out. Also for tech choices, Thor is definitely replaceable here. I personally liked him, but he's not a must. And Ironheart was also not super impactful this far from my own experience. You can replace them with any other three costs or with any card that really benefits from Mr. Negative. Or ideally, you could also play Bast in this deck, but of course it happens to be an expensive Series 5 card. And I was surprised by how well this deck performed, to be honest. The biggest strength is surprise potential and how easy that makes snapping and retreating. So we very often want to snap if we have like a Psylocke into Mr. Negative opening or Mr. Negative and Jane Foster in hand. In that case, we definitely want to snap before we drop those two, because after our opponent sees Jane Foster, they'll kind of know what we're up to and they're much more likely to retreat on turn six. And on the flip side, if our opening hand is a brick, we can retreat very easily. So the overall the win rate with this deck is not astronomically high, but the cube win rate, at least for me, felt very, very solid. I went on a pretty quick and consistent climb with this deck, and I have some of the coolest games prepared for you right here. Can lift Mjolnir? Let's see. Playing the right deck to test this. Uh, Okay, that doesn't help. Oh. Okay, what the fuck? What is this? I think we just ditch Jane Foster, right? Isn't it like root into negative, into Iron Man, into Mystique Surfer? Don't we really want to clog this location yet? Stereo? Long time no see? It's just like Sarah control, right? They might play Enchantress in that case. Like Jane would only draw one card. Do we even have any left? 
I don't think we have anything left that Jane could draw. We were kind of just hoping for no enchantress. Want to snap stream Marvel snap, but I don't know how to format the deck energy cubes, etc. Can you help me? It's uh, in OBS. You kind of just cut some stuff together as if it was Microsoft Paint. Ooh. Wait, this is good? Only question is if we ditch Mystique, and I think we do. Because our opponent has priority on Enchantress here. And they're not gonna Cosmo Middle, are they? And then it's just like, Wong Ironheart Surfer? Like, if this goes through, there's no way we don't win left. The only question is if my opponent... Like, they specifically need something like... Um, Enchantress and Cosmo Middle. And that would be insanity if they do that. Oh, this is gonna be a beautiful turn. This is so gorgeous. Okay. Not too shabby. That was a pretty explosive turn six, I dare say. Can I get a Mr. Negative, please? Please. Ooh. Okay. Okay. How scared am I of arrow? Eh, it's kind of okay if they arrow. Not strong enough to snap yet, are we? Okay, so a boss deck that didn't find boss. But fuck this. <laughs> but that means they're not playing Cosmo, but they might play Enchantress. I can't play Wong Middle though, because, um, yeah, for a multitude of reasons. This might be a bit ill advised, but there's also some fold equity in our opponent just retreating if they open up with a bricked hand. Do we like Thor more than Jane Foster here? What are the odds? Fifth, we'll have two out of six hammers. Oh no, it makes Darkhawk bigger. I'm trolling. I'm literally trolling. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. So they played the wrong Darkhawk. We know they have another one. Looks like a win to me. Priority? Yeah, but it's uh, like, what are they gonna play? They're not playing Cosmo, we don't care about Enchantress. Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever. Ooh, that was smooth sailing. Hey, not good. I think this is a misplay, just now realizing this. 
much better to go brute left and then uh, Iron Man on turn five. Oh, that's scary. Ah, oh, fuck. Magneto is gonna screw me over completely. Too late for Mr. Negative? Not really. Playing against the Surfer deck as well, I think. We're just gonna play something like Polaris. We didn't draw Jane Foster yet, so I, uh, I'm a bit hesitant here. All systems go. Uh, my Zola is kind of useless here. An Iron Man into Mystique Zola. Actually, interesting. Snap. Or into Wong Zola. Nah, no, 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 Mystique Zola is better. I don't think we play Panther though. Oh, we're only going up to 18 middle if we had one of these two. Left side's piss weak. That's better, isn't it? Is it Surfer left or Mystique left? I am Iron Man. Wakanda forever. Let's go for the jackpot. Fuck. Wait, we're winning, aren't we? <laughs> Just the sheer pressure of freaking the Iron Man effect. Wait, Mystique would have made us lo lose, right? Because we're losing middle and losing left if we had Mystique. So negative was actually a better target, and Black Panther, of course, would have been the best. Most straightforward one, but this also just barely edges it out. Good call to play Mr. Negative after all. Does Jane pull the flip power and cost cards? Of course. That's why she's in here. I am ego. And this is my domain. Man, my hand is so horrible, but this is my duty as a content creator. I cannot not snap here. Like my hand is it uh, my hand is atrocious. There's no shot we win this. Just going purely off a of fold equity here. Oh. Good shit, Ego. You can do it, I believe in you. Mr. Negative. Don't go one bit. Oh, you're a god! Ego is playing better than I am. Okay, their ego is also playing really well though. Don't, 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 don't! Well, we'll have a Wong on the right side, it's something.
I mean, most cards here win. Like, Surfer is good, Ironheart is good, Mystique is bad, but... Oh, fuck. Oh. Good ordering, though. So left goes up to 12. Fuck. I don't know. Right side is a loss. I should retreat here. Like, if my opponent plays any card left, we lose. But... For the content. Oh, we lose by one. No, we lose by one. Actually, do we? I forgot about Ironheart's buff. It's a tie left. We win middle. You go, you. Okay, we even win by one left. Victory. Oh, it was so important that Ironheart hit Arnim Zola. That won us the game single handedly. I think this is what people call karma, right? Nap on ego and you shall be rewarded. Like, my opponent's ego wasn't that bad neither, but it kind of trolled with the Atumas. That's one way of hitting... <laughs> what is it, Omega rank? Galactic rank? Ego's ultra rare location. Appear rate of 0.2%. Did they ever publish the appearance rates of location anywhere? There would be some very interesting numbers to look into. Also, thank you for instantly winning me the game right here. I don't want to show my strength yet. You know you want to, come on, you can't resist here. I can't believe they're staying in this game, our hand is so cracked. Oh, pff, of course. What else? Do we wait for Wong? Nah. Big enough. Hey, that's not even bad for me. Wakanda forever. Do we just go batshit crazy on this turn? Better to wait with Surfer, I think. But the rest is good. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. That's cute. So this would buff the Surfer on the right side as well. Yeah, this, that ha this has to be better than Ironheart. You are tripping ball sacks. What are you gonna do? Onslaught is not even that good. Random Shang-Chi? Like, they also got cost-reverted cards, right? Like, what beats me here? I don't think that's enough. Oh, that was close. Thank goodness I went for the double surfer and not the iron hard play. I mean, it's pretty obvious that the double surfer is better, but damn, that was a game. That was quite something.
Um, not sure if that's good for us. Invisible woman and death. Oh, they probably play Hella, which means we get their Hella. Let's retreat take priority here. <clears throat> So they can still do power plays with Ghost Rider, that's it. So we go like Wong Panther right side and get some big 6 4 card from them, ideally. Hmm, I guess I have Jubilee and Ghost Rider. Okay. We mostly give them nonsense. We do give them Brute and Surfer. They can't really play that anywhere. Ouch. Wakanda forever! No! Why did Thor have to go? Okay, how crazy is this really? The thing is they can't really Brute Surfer here. Because of Invisible Woman. I am Iron Man. They only get two brutes, and two brutes we beat. Three beats w brutes would beat us, though. Jeez. Actually, two brutes would have already beaten us, right? I forgot that Sif also gets the surfer buff. Would have been well, 12 on the left side. But minus the Ironheart buffs. She hit the right side thrice. That means I would have had 20... 22? Okay, no, we still would have won. Would have won by like two power on tiebreakers. Okay, yeah, no. The Iron Man play was for sure the way to go. And we beat the two scariest combos our opponent can do. GG's. I'm gonna save 10k credits all the way through and not gonna open any season pass and uh, caches and everything until then. Although, wait, is it... Does it also coincide with start of new season, the new patch? Then I might have to open like all the battle pass things at least, the season pass thing. But I think though the the season goes one week longer, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um I think I prefer brood here. Because I wanna draw Don't really want to draw the hammer main deck. Oh that's You will regret this, dear friend. They're snapping because they play Arrow, I assume. Wind, aid my hand. Wong Surfer into Panther. Panther into Arnim Zola. <clears throat> they could hit me with the Omega Jubate here and arrow right side.
I'm just getting Cosmod left. Is this worth two cubes? We're going down to 13 on the right side. Our opponent just needs to bust out 10 power there. I feel like this is weak, but I'm not sure. Like, if they invest two mana for a Cosmo left, I don't think they really have ways of getting power to middle. They might play Fantastic. They might play, like, Nova Killmonger. The Panther left isn't strong enough, that's for sure. Let's try this. No, don't hit middle, don't hit middle, yes! No, don't hit middle, don't hit middle! Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Close one. Close one in a lot of ways. If I wouldn't have drawn freaking Jane Foster. Ah, getting trolled by Jane Foster so often today. It's really bad for us. Could be good for us. Not if we draw rocks. In case this is Rickety Ridge. Okay, iron hard target. It's weirdly winnable. It's fine. Need a good play this turn. Mm, yes, I think. And we got Foster. The issue is uh, all the rocks also get reverted. If it's Sarah Surfer, they probably play Maximo. Uh, they probably play Mr. Fantastic. Okay, Ironheart's important. Just gotta hit the rock once. I feel like if I snap back, we make them fold a lot? I'm not sure though. It was their snap, right? If I recall correctly. Oh, this is a tough decision. We snap for value. We're not that strong middle neither, we're only going to 20. Nah, I think this is just... See it out. Okay, so we just need Ironheart to hit rock. Thank you. Yeah, I think not snapping was really, really good here. Victory. We probably would have only had our opponent stay with the hands that actually beat us. And retreat with everything that we beat. The <laughs> zombie guy. Love it. Okay. This might be Giga Bait, but I have to go for it. Hands way too good here. What's up, Velvet Hippo? I mean, the stash, thank you. Uh, how goes the snapping? Today it's super good. We climb from like. 87 to 92, playing two very, very fun decks. Okay, we're up against a Hella ish deck. Well, that's awkward. I think I want to take advantage of 
the buff, like we're in no hurry to get this, right? Also, Iron Man Riot is way better than anything else. Actually, we would play Foster next turn, though. But if we play Mr. Negative now, Foster will draw us one more card from the deck, one more cost inverted card. We play the six cost next turn. I think this makes, makes more sense. Like that will make up for the five power most likely. We really still need Surfer from our deck. Jeff cut his stream short because he was up against lots of Galactus and leader decks. Yeah, Galactus I've been seeing a lot today and they also really made, like they took advantage of the feature location. Okay, good thing we went for it this turn, otherwise our opponent would have contested us. The bad thing is we... It's gonna be tough for us to contest. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it has to be Leader and Foster, right? Pretty much a given. If we draw Surfer, we can turn the right side around with Wong Surfer. Iron Man Mystique would also be sweet. Oh, that's su such a misplay by our opponent. Thank you for freeing this up. I mean, now we're copying Gambit, but it doesn't really... It's fine for us. It's actually good to discard something here. We find more hand space for um, the cost inverted cards. Wong is still in there. Oh, this is working out nicely. This is working out perfectly. Um, there are like 10 plays we have here. We need more power here, so ice power card. This hits Mystique as well. Oh, Zola is an issue. It destroys a card. Psylocke instead of Zola, I guess. It's quite a lot less power, but we don't risk accidentally. Like, it's not really less power. Zola either takes three or four away from this location, or kills Mystique and might actually make us lose single handedly. Okay, I'm surprised our opponent stayed in this. I am Iron Man. After such a huge Jane Foster pull. Bye. Victory. GG's. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised myself uh, how well this deck is working.